Welcome to Campus. This video will explain the coordinate system used for the CNC programming. To create CNC programs, you must know three things. They are number one, coordinate system. Coordinate calculations will simplify the tool movements and the directions in x, y, and z axis. Number two, CNC codes. CNC codes includes G and M codes which is used for various functions. And finally, number 3 is cutting parameters. These are the parameters used for machining which includes spindle speed, feed rate and the tool engagements. Now we'll explain detailly about coordinate system. In CNC programming, coordinate calculations are required for specifying the cutter locations according to the tool path required. When we look from the top view, as you know, towards the right side is x positive, towards the left side from the origin is x negative, towards the top is y positive, and towards bottom is y negative. Based on this concept, in CNC we use two kind of coordinate calculation methods, that is absolute coordinate system and incremental coordinate system. First, we will explain the absolute coordinate system with an example. In this drawing, we need to find out the coordinate values of each points by using absolute coordinate system. Point number 1, that is P1, is the origin reference point for this drawing. So values of P1 is X0 and Y0. In absolute coordinate system, we calculate XY points from fixed origin, then P2 will be x60 and y0 p3 x distance from the origin is 60 and y distance is 30 so x60 y30 next p4 x distance from the origin is 60 plus 40 so 100 and y distance is 80 minus 50 so it's 30 then p5 x distance is same 100 and y is 80 here. Finally, P6. There is no movement in x. So x0 and y is 80. I think now you got a clear idea about absolute coordinate system. All the coordinate points are calculated from a fixed origin. Now we'll look into second method that is incremental coordinate system. We take same previous drawing for this calculation. P1 is X0, Y0 because it is the origin. Now P2. For calculating P2, P1 is the origin reference point. So value is X60 and Y0. Here we will explain more clear. In incremental coordinate system, the last point will be considered as origin for next point. So for calculating P3, P2 is the origin. The value of P3 is x0 and y30 p4 p3 is the origin for p4 then x distance is 40 and y distance is 0 x40 y0 then p5 x distance is 0 and y distance is 50 finally p6 for p6 p5 is the origin here x is on the negative direction so x distance is x minus 100 and y distance is 0 x minus 100 y 0 in incremental coordinate system coordinates are calculated from the previous point when we compare both absolute coordinate system is having a fixed datum and incremental coordinate system is having a floating datum you can choose any method for creating the program but we recommend to use absolute coordinate system. The reason is when we make an error in the both, absolute will result the mistake only where we went wrong. But in incremental, we can see mistake is continued to all next points because of floating datum. Hope you understand well. Stay tuned for our next tutorial about important G codes in CNC programming. All of you can download the challenge exercise from the description. For more CAD CAM CNC tutorials, subscribe CAM Force. Happy learning. Bye-bye.